Sorry, I was just swatting a blue bottle. Thank you. Hang on, that's mine. Not anymore, it isn't. Charming. Do you know, I can't understand it. It's supposed to be a reenactment of the Battle of Waterloo here today. Can I have a look? Yeah, help yourself. It was last week. No, it wasn't. It was in 1815. No, the paper, it's a week old. Eh? Oh, no. Typical. I was looking forward to that as well. The battle or the meringue? Both. <coughs> oh, right over it. Good deed for the daytime. Oh, no. Do we have to? <coughs> Leave this to us, madam. We'll get that down in no time. Barry? What? Get up the tree. Get up the tree yourself. Excuse my brother, madam. Get up there. <laughs> We came here for the Battle of Waterloo, you know. Ah! What's what you're doing? You could have landed on them, then. Sorry. Where's the balloon? It flew away up there. Excuse us, madam. We'll be right back. Come on. Why don't we just buy another one? Because that would be admitting defeat. And you wouldn't do that, would you? Do I ever? Excuse us. That's it! Oh! Yeah! There you go! There you go, mate! Come on, man! There it is! Grab it! Grab it yourself! If you want a job doing, do it yourself! <laughs> Terribly sorry! There it is! This time! Right! <laughs> Allow me to introduce ourselves. I'm Paul and this is Barry. Uh, we managed to get that back for you. <laughs> Run, Barry. We nearly had it then. In more ways than one. I mean the balloon. Which way did it go? I've no idea. Well, that's that then. Shame. Can't be helped. Come on. That baby's got to be disappointed. I remember when you lost your balloon. You cried for hours. I didn't lose it. You burst it. There you go. Bring it up the past again. Anyway, that was days ago. Hello. Where did that come from? Don't care. Grab it. <laughs> Brilliant. Couldn't have worked out better, that. Got it. Barry, the balloon. Could you, 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 Well, would you believe it? What am I going to do with this now? Let it go. can't just leave it there. You're right. <laughs> Stupid thing. It's as though it's got a mind of its own. Right. Give us your jacket. Hey, Come on, give us it. Give us oh. it. Go on, give us it. Let's get off. Hey, <laughs> buddy. Come on. Uh, Paul. What? <laughs> Thought you could outwit Paul Chuckle, eh? <laughs> Ignore it, Barry. He's just looking for attention. Don't look now, but I think he's following us.
I've had enough of this. Lend me your head. What? I'm using it. Watch. What are you doing? I'm trying to build up a static electric charge. That way it'll stick to the van. There. That's very good. Elementary science, Barry. Remember, it was the best subject at school. Was that before the unfortunate incident with the Bunsen burner or after? Come on. I feel like I lie down after all this excitement. Mr. Carrington Smythe. Pronounced Smith. The well-known secret agent. Hello. Goodbye. Still working for MI7? No, no, I've moved on. Oh, gone up to MI8. MI9. MI2. Oh. Look, will you leave me alone? I'm on a very important mission. Are you? What sort of mission? I'm following that man over there. It's vitally important not to attract his attention. Oh, don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Come on, Barry. This must be where it came from. It's been trying to get home. Nah, I don't think so. It's probably been, been travelling along on a current of air. Do you reckon? Yes, believe me. It's the last we'll see of that. Hey, look! Of him, United playing on the telly. Oh, he's still there. Don't worry about it. He's still there now, he's trying to hide amongst the others. I don't understand this. I don't understand anything. Hang on. Why did you do that? I didn't. Come here. It's you. Yeah, of course it's me. Who were you expecting? I mean, it's you that's changing the channels. Get away. You are? Just a minute. I wonder. You know, if my calculations are right, you've become highly attractive. Really? Oh, yes. Irresistible. Oh. Only to metal things, though. I'm sure I want to be electromagnetic, Paul. Ah! There's really nothing to worry about, Barry. I mean, if I remember correctly, there was a similar case in 1948 in Russia, and he managed to walk it off. Really? How long did it take him? Well, he finally shook it off yesterday tea time. Oh. Hey! Hello! Oh, quick! Open the car! He's getting away! Oh! I'll drive. Oh, sorry. Got him now. Right, now all we've got to do is sit here out of sight and wait. Ooh.
must have seen me, but how did he know it was my car? Could this be anything to do with you? Well... No, don't tell me. It doesn't matter. He'll be miles away by now. We'll never find him. Not without a helicopter. Ah! Or an electromagnetic, Barry. Now that is useful. So you're telling me he has become electrically charged and exerts a strange sort of control over electrical devices? Usually televisions. Achoo! Bless me. And sometimes lights. Sorry. I'd, uh, I'd like one of my colleagues to give you the once over, if that's all right with you. Absolutely. Just a minute. Good. I'll arrange for you to stay in a safe house. Come with me. Well, whatever happens, Barry, we got rid of that balloon. Lights. Achoo! Exactly how did that get in here? Just how safe is this safe house? I've been talking with my colleagues and we'd like to offer you the chance to join MI2. Cool, me join MI2? Yes, your magnetic abilities could be useful to us. We'd like to run some tests. And then, of course, you'll have to be vetted. Hang on, vetted? That's what they did to our tiddles. I don't like the sound of that. You could get us in a dangerous position. Just like tiddles. Well, it's been very nice meeting you again, Mr. Carrington Smythe, pronounced Smith. But if it's all the same with you, we'll be off now. Oh, goodbye. We will, of course, place you in a safe house. Five-star luxury, swimming pool, spa. I hope you don't mind rich food. On second thoughts, I think I've been a bit hasty. Where do I sign? Oh, we won't be needing you. Hey, well, me and Barry always work together, don't we, Barry? Unfortunately, yes. We can discuss it on the way to the safe house. I hope you remember the combination. Come on, Barry. So, why do you want me to be an agent? We're hoping your magnetic properties may help us find something. What's that then? Some weeks ago, a plasma bubble was stolen from one of our research plants. We thought the man you helped us catch was one of the gang. Was he? Unfortunately not. He's got a solid alibi. Has he? It didn't show. Oh dear. So we're back to square one then? Complete dead end. Have you tried sitting on a cushion? Sometimes it helps. No, I haven't and it won't. No, the culprit is still at large. Mm, so is the plasma bubble. Yes. What does it look like? It could look like anything. All I know for sure is, due to its unique molecular structure, whatever it is, it has to be round. You can see my predicament. Not from here, I can't, no. Could be like looking for a needle in a haystack. No, it's wrong shape. Do you mind? We're trying to hold an intelligent conversation oh. here. Did you have to bring that thing with us? Unfortunately, he's my brother and he goes everywhere I go. <laughs> I meant the balloon. Oh, you sort of get used to it. Mm, yes, we can't seem to shake it off ever since we rubbed it on Barry's head. Yeah, it seems as though it's got some strange electromagnetic energy. Mm. After you, Paul. What? Say that again. After you, Paul. Not that bit. Electromagnetic energy. No, no, that would be surely too much of a coincidence. This, if I'm not mistaken, is the missing plasma ball. It isn't. It is. It isn't. It is. Is it? Yes. Oh. I'd better make sure this is kept in a safe place. Take a good look, gentlemen. This will be your home for the next few days. Great. It'll do, I suppose. It is, of course, merely a front. Did they forget to build the back, then? Not exactly. You see, we have some of the most advanced laboratories in the world here. Cool! A perfectly safe in the hands of an expert, but in untrained hands... <sighs> what exactly do you do here? One day we may be investigating UFO sightings, the next studying genetically modified vegetables. And that's what Barry's doing here. I'm not a genetically modified vegetable. We shall find that out later. Follow me.
Allow me to introduce Dr. Devilish. Is he any good? Of course he's good. He's a doctor. He must be good. These are the ones I was telling you about, Dr. Devonish. So pleased to meet you. Now, which one of you has these special capabilities? No, don't tell me. Most impressive. A magnetic man. Electromagnetic. Fascinating. Yes. Just imagine how much our enemies would pay to get their hands on him. One million four hundred and twenty-five pounds, thirty-six pence. That's a rough guess. Yes, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> ah. <laughs> You'll be quite safe here. All the staff are fully trained martial arts experts. <laughs> except for the waiters. Sorry. Just wait here a moment. I won't be long. Help yourself to some coffee. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> hey, do you know, Barry? I think I'm going to enjoy it here. Why do you think they brought us to a safe house? Do you think it's because I might be in danger? No. They're just taking precautions, that's all. What if there was somebody working for the enemy already here? Not much chance of that. Because if there was, we'd both be in danger. We don't want to fall into enemy hands. On second thoughts, there's no harm in checking with Carrington Smythe. Ah! Excuse us, could you tell me? Never mind. Let me get this straight. So the small one seems to be malformed, while the bigger one seems a lot plumper and thicker skinned. Yes, which is odd, considering they're both from the same family. I suggest we open up the big one first. You never know, there might be some clue inside. I don't like the sound of this. You know those wrong hands we don't want to fall into? Yes. I think we found them. Me too. You wait here. Hey! Well, I've got other things to be doing. I'll leave you to it. Keep up the good work. I say, you're looking for something? Yes, the front door. Shh. I was coming to find you. We're nearly ready. The lab's just down there. Oh, it's okay. I went before I left. Laboratory. Follow me. If anybody sees us, they'll think I'm a scientist. We'll make our escape later. Just one thing. Why can't I be the doctor and you be the patient? Because I've got the stethoscope. Oh. Well, remember what he said? Don't touch anything. Of course not. Ah, oh, doctor. Yeah? Oh, sorry. Herr doctor. And this was Dane, nice scientist, Nazi barber. Right. I was wondering if you'd seen two northern fellows. One small, spiky-haired and magnetic, and the other... Yeah, I have seen. Tall, magnificent, handsome. No, that's not them at all. Never mind. Um, what exactly are you doing here? Uh, just conducting this simple experiment on the patient. <laughs> now, just lie back and relax. What are you doing? Don't worry. I said I'd look after you. Why do you think I'm worried? It's better than being opened up, isn't it? Now, he is looking for the abnormal brain activity. Hmm. Well, he is looking for any sort of brain activity. Hmm. Simple reversal of the polarity. Now we will observe the nature of the phenomenon. See. Ah! 
Why is he doing that? I haven't seen Foggiest. I'll try again. Ah! Let me know if you're having the slightest bit of discomfort. Ah! Oh. Well, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. You obviously know what you're doing. If you should see those Chuckle Brothers, let them know I'm looking for them. <laughs> Barry! 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 Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I just feel a little bit dizzy. What happened? I, I don't, don't know. know. Paul, I think I know what you are thinking. Don't, don't be ridiculous. ridiculous. That's not a very nice thing to think. Do you know, no, I, I think you might be precognitive. How dare you? Let's, Let's try an experiment. And, and can, can you resist, resist the urge to speak at the same time as me? Sorry. I'm going to hold up some cards, and you've got to guess what they are. They'll have symbols on them. Musical instruments. Not that kind of symbols. Now concentrate. What's the first one? Triangle. Good. Thought you weren't going to do musical instruments. I'm not. Now just concentrate. What's the next one? A diamond. Very good. The next? A square. Hey, that's brilliant. We could make a fortune of this on the stage. I'd rather get out of here before Carrington Smythe gets us. Good idea. I'd like to see you get out of this, Mr. Chuckle. Now, I've just got to work out how to get you on here. Oh, Dr. Dennis, you've got to help us. Get on there, buddy, quick. Hey? I can't help it. Yes, but there's something you should know about. Not now, buddy, later. What? Oh, get a hand, Doctor. Get the car ready. I've got them. What's going on? Where are you taking him? Uh, emergency. What type of emergency? He's not been himself. Isn't that right, Doctor? That's right. I'm taking him to an observation unit. He's been babbling incoherently. He's been doing that for as long as I've known him. What's up with you? It's him. He's a foreign agent. See? He thinks you're a foreign agent. I told you to keep quiet about that. He might be dangerous. Not him. Him! Why do you say that? I read his mind. Read his mind? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I know, but it's true. How else would I know that you're having Marmite soldiers for your tea? Uh, well, yes, there might be something in it. Doctor? Do something! When I said do something, that's not what I had in mind. And as for you two... What? The department owes you a big debt. And it'll probably owe you a bigger one after we put these mind-reading skills of yours to work. Mind-reading skills? Yes, you know, your mind-reading skills. Show Mr. Carrington Smythe what you can do. Oh, that. I can't do it anymore. Must have been the bump when I fell off the trolley. Sorry. Hey, don't apologise to him. We heard what you said before. You said that Barry was malformed and that I had a thick skin. And he said you were plump. Don't forget plump. Do you mind? I'm having a conversation here. Excuse me? What he said. And then you said you were going to cut us up. Starting with Paul, I might add. Don't bother. What do you say about that? We were discussing two genetically modified melons. Not us? No, two other melons. Silly you. Silly me. Indeed. Well, all's well that ends well, I suppose. Welcome to the department. <laughs> we'll just go and get our bags then. Yes, settle in. Make yourselves comfortable. Fancy us being secret agents. Well, it's not really surprising, Barry. It's not the first time I've been asked to work for intelligence. It's not the first time you've been asked to work with intelligence. Whatever. Grab the plasma bubble! I know! Why, thank you kindly. So much for a new start. Hello? Mr. Carrington Smythe? Pronounce Smith. What do you want? Uh, Barry and myself have been thinking. <laughs> There's a first time for everything, I suppose. Hang on while I make a note of that in my diary. <laughs> what did he say? Nothing. We're just exchanging pleasantries. Oh. Now, the last time we met, we didn't leave on the best of terms. You can say that again. The last time we met, we didn't leave on the best of terms. Get on with it, for pity's sake. Oh, right. Um, well, we thought we'd like to put things right between us. No, we're not going to leave the country. No, we thought we'd help you find the missing plasma ball. If you mean the one that, thanks to you, Dr. Devonish managed to get away with, don't bother. Oh, it's no bother. In fact, we consider it our patriotic duty to help you get it back. 
Barry and myself are going to put our heads together and formulate a plan of action. If you two put your heads together, you'd probably cause a fire. And as for your patriotic duty, I consider it my patriotic duty to ask you to stay as far away from that plasma ball as possible. It could be dangerous. Fear not. A chuckle laughs in the face of danger. You speak for yourself. And if you mean by danger, Dr. Devonish, don't worry. A chuckle has to do what a chuckle has to do. You leave it to us. No. You don't understand. One of our scientists has just informed me that the plasma ball is not stable. We tested some in the lab and any sudden movement, shock or high-pitched noise could cause it to explode. Hello? Chuckle! Hello? Now what? There we are, Barry. Can I suggest something? Later. I want to check these balloons. Excuse me, my man. Would you mind if we had a look through your stock? What for? Well, you see, we're looking for a very special balloon. Oh, my balloons are special. Now, look here, my man. We're on very important government business. Now, are you going to let me look through your wares or not? What's it worth? You're not listening to what I'm telling you, are you? Now, look, we're on important government business. Now, surely you wouldn't expect us to pay for them. That's our lunch money gone, then. Paul? What now? It's not in there. Will you stop moaning? It might be. I've not looked through them all yet. It isn't. How do you know that? Because I do. I hope you haven't been palpitating behind my back again. In my opinion, we're going about this all the wrong way. And in your opinion, what do you suggest? We're looking for the balloon, correct? Correct. And we know Dr Devonish has got it, correct? Correct. So why are we wasting our time looking through this bunch of balloons when we should be looking for Dr Devonish? You've got a point there. I thought so. I wondered how long it would take you to think of that. Pardon? Well, you've had me wasting my time with your suggestion of looking through those balloons. We should have used my suggestion and look for Dr Devonish in the first place. Come on. Hang on. What am I going to do with these? Let them go. I can't do that. They might cause an accident. Yeah. Give them to me. There. I'll let them go. Happy? Not very. Come on, let's go. Hang on. Where are we going? That's another good point. Is it? That's two I've had today. I've had another thought. We're looking for Dr Devonish, correct? Correct. And we know he's got the balloon, correct? Correct. But we've gone through all this before. Well, why don't I have a quick palpitate and find out where he is? You just want to show off again, don't you? Go on then, but just his one's mind. OK. <laughs> have you seen anything? Yes. He's in a big house in the country. Right, let's go. Hang on. I saw something else as well. Oh, don't tell me. Go on then, what was it? I'm not telling you. Ah, the sonic disruptor. If I'm quick, I can use it to destroy the plasma ball before the doctor can get it out of the country. Or those two get to it and do any more damage. I'm outside the doctor's secret laboratory. Now, I've just got to find out for sure if he's got that balloon. That must be the something else. What's he doing here? Probably the same thing we are. When I said I was going to get the balloon back, he said not to bother. I wish we hadn't. Do you know what I reckon? No, but you're going to tell me. I'm going to tell you. I reckon he's going to get the balloon back himself and claim all the glory. Why don't we just let him get on with it then? Come on, we need to get inside. Right, over you go. Me? I'll never get over that. Well, I certainly won't. Well, that's that then. Oh, right, this'll do. Come on, give me a hand, quick. With this. Oh. Get that to me. To you. Right, now, stand on the end of the plank. You get on the plank. I've no time to argue, just get on the plank. What are you going to do? This. I thought we'd never get over it. I don't think I ever will. Hello. And what exactly are you doing here? 
We've come to get the balloon back and stop you getting all the glory. Uh, what he means is... I know what he means. Only we got chased by dogs. Not wild as they were, mm. by the sound of it. They are recordings. I don't care what they are, they sounded big, didn't they? Mm. No, recordings. Look. Well, I never. Neither did I. It's a simple device to keep people out. And very effective it is too, gentlemen. Time I wasn't here. There's no need to run, Barry. He's on that side, we're on this side. That is correct. I'm in here and you're out there. However, unfortunately for you, so are they. Oh, that was a close one, Paul. Paul? Oh, dear. Dear, oh dear. Now what am I going to do? You're not going to get away with this, Doctor. I'm a servant of Her Majesty the Queen. And I am We a... all know what you are. On the contrary, Mr. Carrington Smith. Get away with it, I will. I have the plasma ball. And soon, I will be out of the country. And what do you intend doing with us? sell you to the highest bidder. It's a pity about the magnetic one. He may have fetched a handsome price. Ah, yes. You're forgetting about Barry. Do you think he'll let you all as prisoner? <laughs> he won't stand idly by. And what exactly can he do about it? He's just one man. Yes, but we chuckles are not like ordinary men. I'll vouch for that. Yes, he'll be hatching a plan even now. Oh, that I look forward to with interest. Maybe I underestimated him after all. <laughs> you certainly did. Right then, now we've got the balloon back, you can let us go. And if you leave the country straight away, we'll say no more about it. Do you think I'm a man to give up that easily? I need that balloon, and I'm going to get it. And how do you intend doing that then? Hold us to ransom, perchance. <laughs> You and your big mouth. Relax, Barry will get us out of this. You there. I know where you are, you imbecile. I can see the balloon. I suggest you tell him I mean business. Barry, the doctor's opening up his own company. Well, that's what you said, isn't it? You out there. We need to discuss something. What? What will happen to your brother and Mr. Carrington Smith if you don't hand over that balloon? And I want to discuss what will happen to the balloon if you don't hand over Paul and Mr. Carrington Smile. I see we have something which could be described as a Mexican standoff. If I were in your shoes, I'd do as I say. <laughs> you don't frighten me. Oh, no? Well, if he doesn't hand over that balloon, here's what I'm going to do to you. Barry, I'm frightened! And well you might be. You have one hour! One hour, remember? Oh dear, oh dear. I think you can see the clock from there. One hour, gentlemen. I'll leave you to contemplate your fate. Great. Just great. What do you think he'll do? Not the doctor, your brother. Oh, Barry. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll get us out of here, even if it means handing the balloon over. Oh, if I could only get to my vehicle. I have a sonic disruptor in there that will destroy the balloon and put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Never mind, we can talk about that later. Oh, yes. Any minute now. Then again, he can be a stubborn little devil when the mood takes him. Time is nearly up, gentlemen. It appears your friend has decided not to cooperate. Hello! Then again, maybe... Outside.
After due consideration of your proposals, and without malice aforethought, I've decided to comply with your wishes and hand over the balloon. Good. You know it makes sense. Ah, da, 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 da. This is an exchange, remember? First I want Paul and Mr Carrington Smythe pronounce Smith. I see you're not as stupid as you look. Oh, thank you very much. I think. Very well. Run! I've got something for you. What is it? This is a surprise. I've had enough surprises for one day. Give it me later. My vehicle's up the road. Quick, there isn't much time. Welcome home. What are you doing? It's what they say in all the police films. We are getting out of here, aren't we? Not at all. I have unfinished business with the doctor. I've got one more trick up my sleeve. I think our doctor is in for a very nasty shock. Come on, Barry. Where are you going? You might have unfinished business with the doctor, but we haven't. We'll walk, don't worry. Suit yourself. Typical. You give your all to your country, and what thanks do you get? By the way, what was in the box? My surprise! While I was waiting for the deadline, I nipped into town and bought another balloon exactly the same colour as the first one. Then I swapped it for the one with the plasma ball in it. You mean? That's right. The doctor's got the ordinary balloon, and the one with the plasma ball in it is in the box. Won't Mr Carrington Smythe get a surprise when he finds out? I think he just might. Don't look back, Barry. <laughs> vision, I wonder if we could look through your stock. What for? <laughs> I know what he means. Sorry, we were flattened by dogs. That's where he should be. <laughs> I don't think I ever will. <laughs> oh, Paul, Paul, can you recreate that? <laughs>